Hello boys. I'm about to explain you how I play Prorovka with most tank types aka heavy tanks and medium tanks. Prorovka consists of two sides, two almost symmetrical sides, but if you can find out the mistakes of their symmetry, you can absolutely own it. One thing that you want to pay attention to is for most maps you want to aim to go to the middle from both sides. I'll start explaining north and then we're gonna go to south. This map has undergone some serious changes in the last patch. They have changed the hill so now if you go to this side it's very hard to actually hit those people that have been sitting behind those ridge lines and they have made it very very safe for them in general to peek you can still do a lot of damage but it is it is very nice now from 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 uh, from north you mainly want to play the middle though as on most maps because playing the middle opens up the three flanks opens up the middle the one two and the zero as well so one important thing if there's no arties and you are sure that you can rush here with your medium tank you can spot those guys that are crossing here if you're fast enough generally speaking you need like 60 kilometers an hour top speed to do that from the beginning but sometimes if they have slow heavies like chinese or, or mouses or, or, or ihanda or whatever you can also do it with like 55 ish with 50 you won't be able to do that so you get 55 60 top speed you rush here you can spot this very easily you can give like one or two shots depending on your spot and that is very useful early damage one thing you have to be paying attention to is obviously getting peaked from here and already as well so if you, if you can't do that if you're playing a heavy tank or something they have a lot of scouts on prorovka like one or two most of the time or even three you have this small rich line here which gives you absolutely a awesome position to stay low not to get spotted by enemy light tanks basically because if you're behind this small ridge line you know it's elevated i'm playing a low low uh, profile tank right now but it, it is it is safe for say you're playing a chieftain or whatever or an s-conk s-conk is kind of tall but chieftain or 113 or, or vz5a i7 are all low enough to to hide behind this and not get spotted by the occasional light tank that is crossing the mid in order to spot for the RT. Now, this is one important factor to pay attention to. If you want to consistently peak the middle, shoot this and shoot that. But there is a safer approach to do that because this is really susceptible to getting shot from here. You can play here, but there is this, this position is not that great against RT. Like you can kill this house here. You can go here and to the side and you can also shoot the hill from here and the extra extra thing that gives the, this position gives you is you can rotate here to this position here you can also try to shoot the one two line which is really 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 hard um, because oftentimes there is a scout in the upper bushes right there and you can really get easily get spotted. It doesn't even need to be a scout. It can just be any kind of TD with binos and you'll already get spotted. And you can get shredded to pieces in a short amount of time. On this mostly high alpha TDs. So on this map, you generally want to play here. What I showed you. You can play here. You can shoot. You're generally safe from the from the from the one two. But you can also try to play here and take advantage of this one small hill that basically denies the enemy light tank to spot you because you want to avoid getting spotted because this map is very long like uh, as in it's uh it's oftentimes like the, the full 15 minutes are being played out so if you stay here you're safe but you also have to be doing damage actively obviously one thing this is true for both sides if you lose the hill from any side at the point, at the, at, the, at the moment in time where they push off the hill, you have to start rotating all the way to the 1-2 line. 
because by the by the time that they have pushed over and they they get here, you should already be in the one to land position, ready to farm anybody that gets spotted. Very important. If you move any anywhere later than that, you're gonna get you're gonna get caught from here, from here, and from here. This this kind of triangle is gonna leave you very very weak and unable to rotate into the safety of the Montour line basically so better do that earlier than later by the time the zero line is lost the hill is lost you're most likely gonna lose the game but you can still do a lot of damage by pulling into this one position here this position is awesome it's very OP you have this ridge line to protect you from the one two you have a lot of bushes here you can shoot this you can shoot this part right there if anybody picks up on the rails you can also shoot anybody that's like picking on like basically you can just shoot the entirety of the northern side just under the rails you just farm basically and that's it there are there is a rare occasion where i also i, I also go to the hill um mainly i play the middle just because from the middle you don't miss out on damage on the one two because if you play the if you play the zero line, a lot of times people are playing one two line with like they're really, really careless there. You can you can form a lot of damage on there. And oftentimes you miss out on a lot of damage if you play the zero line. That's why I usually avoid going kill altogether from this one side. Um even though they made it very nice now that you like you have a lot of safe positions, it's I would not recommend this. Just because you want to go for reliability and, and all that jazz. I mean, obviously there, there are certain exceptions um, where you do that, but uh, generally I would not recommend it. You can do it with a light tank, obviously, like circle around here. But then again, being being a light tank is obviously better off on the one two or even the mid. So, yep. I think that's, that's all there is to know about northern side. And we go to the southern side. The southern side behaves the same from our point of view it will behave the same like you will have to do the same stuff one useful thing that you can do is take advantage of this ridge line here as you drive into the middle heavy tank medium tank whatever because if you are driving on this ridge line it makes you on the same level almost as that ridge line right and who is going on those ridge lines oftentimes in the beginning? Well, light tanks. You can give a light tank a shot in the beginning, that's gonna make him a three shot or two shot even for the rest of the game, which is massively important. You can just stop here and you can aim. And after that you shoot, you have to go bang to the right and go down because you wanna get already safe. After you do that, there is the same position from this side. But this is much better. This side is much easier to play than the other one. Why? Because you have complete cover from EBR or light tanks. Like you have, you don't just have this one small hill that you had here to just cover you, to cover you from one flank. No, this one covers you entirely from anybody that's picking up. And well, you can still retain the ability. It's important to kill the left side of this house. It's already it's already destroyed, but you have to destroy the left side of this house. Because then it's gonna open up some easier shots. Generally, it's gonna be very hard to snipe this. Is unless they overpeak like, 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 uh, like crazy, you will not be able to farm a lot of damage here anymore. But you can still try it, and there's still not a not a better position to go. One two line is you should forget about the one two line. Unless you're playing against triple RD and triple EBR, and you're playing like like a Leo or something, you can try to play there. On the one two line like these bushes and you can try to snipe the middle or the one two line but this is like really safe and I, I don't generally do that but you can just sit here farm uh, you could you also have to pay attention to uh, if light tanks get spotted here you have to react and shoot them as well because obviously that's massive whoever kills the light tanks of Rorovka generally wins the game so that is true for randoms Another thing is, if you see that your team is attempting to push the 1-2, you can support them by going here. Just just to peek like this. But this is this this is this is don't peek here. One because your your render range extends all the way to here, right? So people that are like playing there in some kind of weird position, they can shoot you. 
they can still see you at 560 meters so don't do that what you can do is just drive here to this side this is much safer and you can already see that your render range doesn't uh, get past the edge of the hill so it doesn't reach all the way until the red line but it stops here so they can't shoot you anymore and you're still kind of safe and this position is good because the tank somewhat covers you from this side some overpicker or whatever can shoot you and this this rock covers you from here because there's a lot of campers here that also just stay here and shoot so this rock covers you from there and you can just peek like this and shoot most of the time and you're mostly safe unless to do this you have to make sure that they have nobody up there they tend to put some the, the enemy the enemy tends to camp uh, there with some uh, td FETD, gorilla whatever so you have to be careful about that and when 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 they push the one two line uh it's important not to go into the one two line because the position i showed you um uh, basically you know this hole down here right there you cannot shoot people from there right you have to be in the middle here to take advantage of that because it's gonna be massively easier shots from here to here so generally want to stay in the middle you don't really want to push you never want to get into this ditch by the way because you just cannot leave you cannot leave unless you're completely confident that you're gonna win the one two line don't go into this ditch because you just cannot leave the game can turn tides in any given moment so i would not suggest uh, getting here at all i can show you the one two line position that i was talking about to to shoot the middle which is kind of useful you generally just want to like hop from one bush to the other until you can overextend or as long as you can overextend but always make sure that you will not get spotted by some cheeky light tank here because that's gonna be the end of you probably so um, the safest position is probably here which is like the most aggressive one because you know you have this massive hill that's covering you from the one two you want to get spotted and you can somewhat shoot peekers in the mid that peek up here and you can also shoot the one two but this is really this is not that reliable i i would i would suggest playing the middle i think it's better you just go from bush to bush to bush to bush until, until you end up here or whatever. Oh yeah, you can also screw this tree up there to uh, to make cover. That is very true. This tree, right? Gets you a bit more edge. You can also shoot Heichi and this knock this one down. What do you guys mean? Which tree? This one? You can do that, yeah. That's useful. Yeah, you can also do that. And then then you have then you won't really get spotted from this. That's basically it. That's that's basically all you wanna do from, from this. I never really play one to nice, I don't really know that. But that's useful to know, thank you. If you lose the hill from this side, you don't have to. In fact, you should not go to the one two line. But instead, you're playing here, we were talking about that, and you should get into either this ditch, which is, which if you have less time, you can get into this ditch, and that's it. But if you have more time, you can get into this ditch, and this ditch is absolutely awesome, because one, you can shoot these guys, two, you can shoot these guys, you can pick up your hold-down, and because of the elevation here you're safe all the way until here from the one two line as well so they have to like go all the way here to shoot you which is useful to know because this is like the safe position that you play after they have taken the hill and after they have uh, pushed over and have or are, are trying to attempt to take control of the railways here so um yeah basically that's it